All right, let's have a look at the plank. Look away from the ankle point. The handles are 20 cm above the ground. Your feet are both in the foot straps. Your body is straight, your back and buttocks are tight and your pelvic is engaged. Your hands are shoulder wide apart. Your hands are on the ground and to make it easier, you can put your forearms on the ground. Keep as long as possible or as mentioned in the training plan. Please keep in mind, do not overextend your back. After you have mastered the plank, you can continue with the tuck. Look away from the anchor point. The foot loops are 30 cm above the ground. Your feet are both in the foot straps. You take the plank position and bring your knees forward to your chest, as indicated here. You can keep a slight bend in the elbows. Keep tension in your abs at all times. And really focus on pressing downward your legs as well, the feet into the foot loops, pressing it a little bit downward to have more resistance. The back row. Look towards the anchor point. Starting with the hands close to the chest. Your palms are facing each other. The shoulder blades are squeezed, the shoulder are back and down. Keep the chest out even while lowering yourself. Don't slouch the shoulders. Keep your shoulders back and down like I show here. When you lower yourself down in the end position, your hands are parallel. As you can see here, now they are parallel again. Choose a resistance, choose an angle that matches your desired resistance. Let's have a look at the chest press. Look away from the anchor point. The handles are 20 cm above the ground. Your body is always straight and always has a basic tension. Tense the abs, the back and the glutes. Your palms face down, your arms are parallel and you are sinking away from the anchor point. By taking your arms and elbows back sideways until your forearms and upper arm make a more or less 90 degree angle and your upper arm to the body a 45 degree angle. The straps do not rub against your shoulders. Now you push yourself back to the starting position. So lowering yourself down and push yourself back to the starting position. That was the first version. Now I'm going to show you the second version. With the second version you will rub the straps against your shoulders slightly. For some people that might be uncomfortable. In any case, I will feel my chest more engaged using the second version. Whereas the first version I feel my shoulders more engaged. Which is also good because you train your stability in your shoulders. So it's up to you if you use the first version or the second version. The official version is number one. Number five, the squat. Look towards the anchor point. The handles are adjusted to knee height. The feet are slightly wider than shoulder wide apart and the toes in line with the knees point slightly outwards. Keep your back straight or perpendicular to the floor or lean slightly back into the straps. Now lower yourself down to at least 90 degrees but lower is preferred. If your feet lift off of the ground, you know you have a mobility issue, thus work on your mobility, please. Um, as you can see here, my chest is out, I'm lowering myself down to lower than 90 degrees. As you see in this case, I'm not perpendicular to the floor, but I'm leaning slightly against the straps. Number six, the biceps curls. Look towards the anchor point. In the starting position, your hands are close to your ears and your upper arms form a 90 degree angle with your body. Now lower yourself down. All the movements just happen through your elbows and the forearms. Your upper arms never change the angle towards your body. It's always around the 90 degrees. Now you just curl your hands towards your ears. Your hands stay parallel. Your entire body is always straight, meaning you have to engage your abs, your glutes and your back at all times. This will burn additional calories like in all the movements with the sling trainer.
Number 7. The triceps extension. Look away from the anchor point. The handles are 30 cm from the floor. Choose an angle that matches your desired resistance. Your arms are parallel to each other and also your elbows. The upper arms will not move, so the whole movement happens through your elbows and the forearms. As mentioned, the upper arms will not change the angle to your body. To put less strain on your elbows, you can engage your shoulder blades. So, retract your shoulder blades and put your shoulder blades back and down. Lower yourself until your hands reach your forehead or next to your ears. This one is a very difficult exercise for people to master, especially for beginners, as it requires quite some skills. Your whole body is plank like a board, is stiff like a board, and you see only the movement happen through the arms. To make it easier, you can have the offset stand, meaning one foot in front. This makes the exercise easier as your triceps has to work less because your front leg helps you with a little bit of the weight. But again, this requires a lot of mind-muscle connections, so you need to know exactly that you just help you a little bit, not too much, so the tricep is still working. Just to show you again how to use your shoulder blades, so they're down and back. As you can see here, shoulder, not up, some people would put it up, but actually down and back, chest out, and then you put less strain on your elbows. Great, after you have mastered these seven basics, you will be able to continue to more advanced exercises. Thanks for watching and safe training.